Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back reacting to another episode of The Queen's Gambit. This is episode four. It is called The Middle Game, or just Middle Game, not The Middle Game. Um, what happened last time on The Queen's Gambit? So last time we had um, kind of the start, really, of, of uh, Beth's like chess career. Like she had competed in one tournament uh, previously winning like that state title or whatever but this was like really like the the monetized version of that like she is going to different places competing in different tournaments for money uh and she's doing pretty good at it she's you know she's she's destroying people the whole way easy money she's just clapping cheeks like it's no problem um and you know <laughs> it, it's it's quite the journey it's like this whirlwind journey of of her I don't know how old she is when it happens, though. Uh, that's the thing. I thought she was still, like, maybe, like, 17 at the at that point. Um, because, uh, what was it? She was 15 when um, she was adopted. And then maybe a few months at the, at the place before the chess tournament. And then at least a year uh, after that. Uh, because she said she missed a previous U.S. Open. So I'd say she's 17, maybe almost 18 at that point. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, so she goes through this whole thing. Uh, you know, she's winning. She's beating people, you know, fairly easily, I, I guess. But then uh, she has to play... Uh, frick, what? She has to play Jojen Reed. I forgot the character's name. Benny? Uh, Benny something? Um, she has to play him... And he gets in her head. He gets in her head before the before the match, and he makes her aware of some issues that she had in a previous match. And so that's all she thinks about. And then when it com comes time to play, he beats her because she. I feel like she's been thinking about that other match, and he she she doesn't realize the traps that he's put in the game to for her to fall into. And then he beats her. She resigns and she cries, and it's. You know her first competitive loss at chess um you know since she since she lost to uh mr scheibel i believe like since she was nine that's the first time she's lost at chess um so presumably she's gonna have to recover from that at some point um she mentioned she's gonna try and learn russian so at some point she plays a russian person um unfortunately I had it spoiled to me in the comments. Someone literally just just recently commented on on the last Queen's Gambit video and and spoiled that uh, her biggest competition or whatever is the one we see in the beginning when she uh, beats uh, I think a Russian person and becomes a grandmaster. That sucks. Uh, don't be those people. Um, that that's a huge bummer for me, honestly. That. You know, I you know I assumed maybe at some point she would probably get that that title as a, as a grandmaster, but don't don't comment th those things on people's videos. <laughs> now I know that it's gonna happen, and I know that that guy is the guy she plays, and now I know that she beats him, and it's it's like come on, man, just don't do that. Um, yeah, but <laughs> back to this. Uh, we, we learned, um, that, um, uh, frick, why can't, Towns, uh, we learned that Towns is gay, or at least bisexual, um, because he was sharing a room with, um, R Roy? Not Roy. Some. He's sharing a room with a guy. There was only one bed. Uh, even after he's being all flirtatious with Beth's, I think he's bi, but who knows? Um and yeah 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 i think those are like the important things that we've realized is that it, beth is learning russian towns is not straight uh her mom likes the money that they get and she lost for the first time so moving forward it's a it's a wide open game anything can happen uh including her being a grandmaster at some point which we know happens now which sucks but whatever um i'm still gonna enjoy the show uh, before we jump in, please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. That means so much to me. If you want to see the full-length reaction to this show, uh, sync, uh, bleh, 
If you want to see the full-length reaction to this show, head down to my Patreon linked in the description. You just sync up your own source footage and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into the episode. Here we go. Is she going to be as good at picking up Russian as she is like at math and chess and stuff? Yeah. She's still in high school, right? I think. Yeah. That guy's got a crush. Doesn't hide it very well. Ooh, he's got a motorcycle. Hey. What's your name again? Maybe it's not his. Nimrod. Yeah. Right, well, Nimrod. Nimrod. What are you doing? Ha. Okay, he's kind of yeah, funny. Right now. <laughs> Beth Nimrod. What does that mean? really like the shape of me? I'm Stalin. I shouldn't be speaking a foreign language. He likes your body. Don't tell her to go to the bedroom. He's gonna follow her and try and do some shenanigans. Why does that look like a penis? It is a penis. <laughs> what the heck? Who has that candle? Why do they sell those? Did he make that himself? I bet he did. <laughs> she is not having a good time. Are they like actually having sex right now? <laughs> good try. <laughs> well, okay, that's awkward. Was the, the, were they actually doing it or just like over the pants humping? I don't know. This is a reoccurring theme of this show, though. Dang, literally everyone just pieced out of this place. Whose house is this? She just showers there. They're gonna be surprised when uh, she's still there. <laughs> Oh, don't clean up for them. Bad. I mean, maybe they won't be mad because she cleaned the whole house. And went grocery shopping? She has an addictive personality. She, is she already planning their next party? It's just, I won't get pregnant. <laughs> That's, oh yeah. <laughs> Famous last words indeed. You gotta be hella careful, girl. Yo, if I was those people and I got back to this house and she's still there, I'd be like, go home. Like, yeah, you're famous, but get the hell out of my house. <laughs> okay, so I just graduated high school, 17, 18 years old, maybe. I, so, like I said, last that last episode, she what? Someone was saying in the comments that she was like nineteen. In that, no. She just graduated high school, like right now. A watch. Oh, with love from mother. It's perfect. Thank you. I'm kind of curious what happened to the husband. Is he just like permanently gone? I suppose you'll be going to. I have a confession to make. Do you know what a pen pal is? Ooh. Saucy. When I was in high school, my Spanish class was given a list of boys in Mexico who were studying English. And you've been keeping I up with one. And I sent him a letter about myself. His name is Manuel. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Have you ever met that guy looks distinguished. She's being catfished. She's being catfished. To Mexico early. I suppose so. <laughs> wow, she's really stoked about this guy. It's gonna suck when some fat schlub ruins her dreams. Oh, never mind. Every 
single famous person. He's a real in American history. Never. Yeah. Oh. oh. Very interesting. Mm. I can see why. She's the third wheel on a date. What? You just got here? Hey, boys, what it do? I thought you guys were done with tournaments. I am. Mike's still going for punishment. <laughs> yeah. They look a little older, just with a, a little bit of facial hair. She came in at 3 o'clock this morning, 2.30 the day before. He's got a green dodge that always seems to be at her disposal. Mm -hmm. And we had lunch and dinner every day this week. Damn. I'm pretty sure they're fucking. Yeah, probably. I thought at first it was the altitude. 7, I mean, most likely they are. I think I'll have just one margarita before I go out. Will you call for Joe, you're an alcoholic and you're going to die because of it. Such a beautiful day. Bruh, she's it's got chess to prepare for. Has it? I hadn't noticed. You can't hear the thunder? The tournament starts tomorrow. You've taken all of your meals in this room. You've had your nose buried in a chess book. Bruh. Shouldn't you just relax? She's a professional. Think about something she's got to take it seriously. Mother. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I play black against Octavio Marenko. I need to study my endgame. Yeah. You're what they call an This is a job. Player. Are you not? Yes, I have been called that before. Sometimes the moves come to me. I've noticed the moves they apply okay, so the loudest are the ones you make rather quick. She improvises? And there's a certain look on your face. Like she prepares a lot, but she she plays her moves in the moment. Intuition can't PS5 can't in stock at Target? Hold on. <laughs> uh Target Boutique. I need to buy this PlayStation. <laughs> uh, PS5. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I just had to buy a PS5 real quick. <laughs> I have no money. I don't know why I bought that. <laughs> that is a weird outfit. Poncho with a head covering. I mean, you don't want to ruin your hair, but at the expense of looking goofy. She's getting drunk at the zoo <laughs> before her uh, before her match. Ooh, that's the guy. Uh, he's from the. He's the guy she plays at the beginning. He's a chess grandmaster. She's nervous now. See, even grandmasters go to the zoo before tournaments. Maybe it, she was reminded of her goal, and now she's like, I gotta go back and study more. I'm sorry. I seem to have caught a virus. Yeah, you're gonna die. I don't know if I'll be able to watch your match in the morning. Cause, uh, cause you're trashed all the time. Your liver's going to poop. Tell me all about it. Hi, boys. Hey. Lovely night for a swim. Is it though? Your towel's all wet. Because you were walking in the rain. Seventeen-year-old. So she's just seventeen right now. That college kid's going to jail. <laughs> While this old man is just... Taking your mom away. Dang, crushed his position as one might crush an egg. He just like runs away. Interesting. Okay, I, the framing where they have both of them in focus. Is she upset by that? 
or is she like reinvigorated for her goal? Some CGI Fresh air feels nice out there. <laughs> that city isn't there. Shucks, man. He's got to go back to his wife. I assume he has one because he's a distinguished old man. It was fun while it lasted. I like that they have a connection and they're not just like using each other. Good afternoon. Hello, small Russian boy. Yo. This kid's gonna destroy her. <laughs> this kid is gonna annihilate her. He, he moves with, with uh, vigor. He is a, he's good. The Russians must be pretty good. This small boy is gonna beat her. <laughs> I like the last episode, I was like, play some little Russian kid, you'll win. This kid's about to destroy her. It's been five hours. They've been playing for five hours? That's such a long game of chess. She write, what does she write down what it is, and then they, and then they, they come back in the morning. In America, I am told that one sees films inside. Drive-in movies, yeah. Is this true? Yeah, they're dope. Drive-ins. They're super fun. David Reynolds and Elizabeth Taylor. That happens? It does. I would dig that. <laughs> Stupid little Russian kid trying to become American. I like him. I like him. I'm glad that he's good at chess. <laughs> I hope he gets every opportunity possible to leave Russia. He's arguably my favorite character in the show now. He's a nice, respectful boy who's just good at chess. He's honored to play her. All these other people, all these other old dudes, they're like mad that they have to play her. He's like stoked. He's like, I am honored to play you. You are awesome. Teach me about drive-ins. Is she, what is she doing? Is she accepting that she's losing? Or is she getting in his head? He is a small boy, so maybe he is afraid. Or maybe she's so confident now? Is she gonna win? Don't be mean to this kid. He's a nice boy. Don't, don't taunt him like this. I like this kid. This kid's a nice kid. He's, he doesn't know what's happening. He's, is she getting him to make moves quickly? So he can't think about it? You know, he's, he, he'll get upset that she's walking away and he'll try and make moves quicker to, to get her to come back. <laughs> the sweet little Russian boy. She played out the rest of the game while she was in the tub. For you, Beth Harmon. I resign the old fashioned boy. Oh. Bless this precious child. If you win, what do you do next? Go to a drive-in? I don't think that's fun. If you're world champion at 16, what do you do with the rest of your life? Ooh, she's probably asking herself these same questions. That kid's great. <laughs> I love that kid. I don't know why. He's just a nicer... When everyone else is mean to her and upset that they have to play her this kid's stoked he's like it's an honor i will resign the old-fashioned way like this kid's great I freaking love him any one of the new places you've been to mm -hmm. 
Sub Borgoff. Oh, shit. Time to get destroyed by this Russian man. You're gonna get annihilated. Are they talking about her? Yeah. Bro, she's in the elevator with you. <laughs> maybe, maybe wait to talk shit before she's not in the elevator. Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk smack, do it in private. Don't do it right in front of her. Jerks. I mean, maybe he's not as much of a jerk as his friends are jerks, but I think he takes her seriously. Is he supposed to be like, so he's a, is he supposed to be like a fictitious version of a real life uh, Russian player? Borgov's not a machine. <laughs> that you know of. He might be. <laughs> he could be a Russian robot in disguise. I think he's got her. Hey, that's fine. He's the best in the world. There's no way she beats him in episode four. <laughs> it's too early. I didn't expect it. No one really plays it. I couldn't. That's a pointy bra. This feeling that I'd already lost. Like. I mean, every move he made was so Good. obvious, so unimaginative, so bureaucratic. Russia. <laughs> She's unconscious. Or dead. Mother? Yo, there's no way she's dead. No way. No way. No way. What? She's straight up dead. For real? Did she... Did she do this herself? Because her boyfriend left? Or was it her alcoholism? What was it? Hepatitis, possibly. We will know tomorrow. Hepatitis. Did she get it from... Her friend? Dang, I, I honestly wasn't expecting her mom to die. Like, so soon. So, he left them. He doesn't even care. What a dick. Dude, that sucks. That's a bummer. I honestly did not expect her to actually die. Like, I'm, I thought maybe in the in the future or towards the end of the series she would die maybe from her alcoholism. I didn't. I didn't think she would actually die in episode four. That's kind of insane. That's another hefty thing she's got to deal with. She lost a Borgov, and then her mom dies. Dude, this episode took a turn. Holy crap. Mass. More. Gimme, give gimme give more. Frick, end of the episode. God dang it. Dang, dude. That episode, <laughs> that was a, a tale of two, uh, a tale of two episodes <laughs> almost. Uh... Yeah, so we I, I think this episode was kind of just the the um the trial of, of Beth's maturity, I guess. So so we see her at the beginning, um kind of you know, she's venturing out on her own, becoming more mature, taking college classes. She's partying with college people, 
Um, she is smoking weed. She's getting drunk. I think she had sex in that episode. I mean, you couldn't see anything, so, you know. I, I'm going to assume that she had sex there. Um, Might have been her first time, probably. She was 17. Um, but like I said, la last episode, people were saying she was, like, older than 18. No, she's 17. They just said it in this episode. Uh, you know, she has, she's growing up very quickly. At the beginning of the episode, it's like her choice, uh, really kind of, that she's, that she's doing that. She, you know, she's, uh, she's capable, I guess, because it shows her at the beginning. She's able to clean that whole house and, and buy stuff and, and, you know, kind of be a independent woman. Uh, goes to Cincinnati to, to see a movie. Like, she's capable of doing things on her own without her mother. Um, I think showing us early on, she graduates high school. She's so, so, so even if chess doesn't work out, she, like she could, she could get a job because she graduated high school. Um, her mom buys her a watch. Oh man! And then she's dead like two weeks later. That sucks. Her mom's so stoked to go see this old Mexican man that she's been pen paling with for so long. I thought it was gonna be like a catfish at first. I was like, that dude's way too distinguished looking to be an actual pen pal for you. Turns out, no, he is a, he's just a salesman in Mexico. Uh, sleazy, according to Beth, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, our two favorite boys, her friends are there at the hotel to say, what's up? <laughs> I, I like that they just show up to every tournament that she's at. Uh, I hope they continue throughout the series, like, just being there like they don't have to have an integral part of the story like i just like the fact that they're there um but yeah beth beth is trying beth's trying to study she's like i gotta zone in on this chest stuff like this big this big shiz ma and her mom's like just have fun be loose like we're in mexico it's a great sunny day out and she's like it's raining <laughs> uh her mom her mom's just having a grand old time like she's loving it she's she's straight up in love with this man um you know i think a while it you know she was pen paling him for years even when she's married to this man and then her husband ditches her she's probably like giving herself the the leeway to be like all right new relationship here i come and even if it's even if she knows deep down that the, this is not like a permanent thing or something maybe she hopes it would be she is like, I'm going to, I'm going to take advantage of this similar to her drinking. She's like, you know, I may not live as long because of this, but it's going to be a hell of a ride while I do it. Um, and then Beth is going to get drunk until she, and she gets drunk at the zoo. She does or not get drunk, but she, she gets, she starts drinking uh, and goes to the zoo. Uh, and she's maybe going to drink more until she sees Borgov at the zoo. And I think she's reminded of her end goal of being a grand master. She's like, dude, she sees him and she's like instantly back in the zone. It was like, so, it was like a cold shower, instantly sober. And she's like, all right, got to go back to studying. Um, go swimming with her friends because they're dope. Uh, she destroys the first man, destroys the second man. She's clapping kids all day. Uh, she, like she's still just so good at chess and all these guys are mad. They're, they're so mad that they're getting beat by a 17 year old girl. Like, I think it's not even the fact that she's young. It's the fact that she's a girl. They're so pissed off. Like, they're they're so mad that they're getting beat by a girl. Like, the only girl that we've seen playing chess so far, other than Beth, was the girl in the first episode at the tournament, and she's had to sit by the coffee table. And they're like, she's like, she, for them, like, she's not even worth having a real table. Um, and that girl was nice, but... Um, yeah, they're just, they're so mad. <laughs> and then... This 13-year-old Russian boy walks up, and he's just the sweetest kid ever. He's like, it is an honor to play you. Thank you for playing me, Beth Arman. I don't know. That's not a Russian accent. <laughs> um, and he's just nice. And they are going at it. They're, like, equally skilled. He, d She just has slightly more experience. So, like, they're, I assume they're pretty much the same skill level. Like, he's just been, he's been doing it for slightly less years. So he's been doing it for nine years. Actually, no, they've been doing it for the same, same amount of time. Because uh, he started when he was four, and now he's 13. 
So nine years. And then she started when she was nine and now she's 17. So like eight years. So he's actually technically been paying, playing chess for uh, one year longer than her, uh, roughly. But he's so sweet. Like they're playing each other for five hours and they're like, okay, we need to stop for now. We'll resume this tomorrow. Uh, and then he's like, will you tell me about drive-in movies? Like, is, is this a real thing? I want to see one. I would dig that. And she's just like, you weird kid. And I love him. He's my favorite character in the show. <laughs> like other, other than Beth, he is the single best character in the show. Like if this is his only, I hope he shows up more and is just continually a sweet little boy. He's fantastic. Um, but yeah, the next morning she like, she, she played, I, I assume she played the rest of the game in the tub. Uh, so she could like plan things out. Like she looked at where she was, she had more time to prep and kind of played the rest of the, the game out. So she knew, she knew like what she could, how she could win if she got him to do certain things. And I think she got him to do that by walking away from the board and kind of like taunting him almost. Uh, which I, I assume made him upset. Like he was mad about the fact that she was walking away. Cause of course, wouldn't you be upset? You're playing chess with someone and they make a move and they literally just leave and they walk away. I'd be pissed. I'd be like, are you kidding? Like you don't respect me right now? Uh, so she, she was being hella disrespectful to him, but it was smart. It got in his head and he's making moves quick cause he wants her to walk back to the table. He's not, he, he wasn't making moves to be like, okay, this is what, is happening. I can, I can beat her this way. Uh, he's just looking at her like, dude, come back. We're playing a game and he'd make a move and she'd come back and then she'd make a move real quick. Cause this was her plan. She got in his head and she beats him and he's still so sweet. Even after that, he's like, I will resign the old fashioned way for you. Puts his work down or his, his king down. And he's just like, Oh, this kid's precious. Freaking love him. Mom plays piano. That's fine. Uh, until she, they're all happy, going to go out to eat until she realizes she has to play play Barkov or, or Borgov or Robot Borg Man uh, the next day. <laughs> uh, and she gets in the elevator and him, the top three players in the world, all Russian, uh, I assume, they're just talking smack about her. They're like, she sucks. She's an orphan. You can beat her. <laughs> and he at least seems to take her seriously. He's like, no, she's a survivor. Is one of us and is like okay see he's not awful i i think from what i know he's not awful um but yeah they <laughs> they play each other it didn't look like there was anything wrong with the mom she was just looking in the mirror from what i could tell so it's it's a little it's, it's kind of surprising that she died so suddenly unless she took a bunch of pills and drank a lot because she was sad about the boyfriend leaving i don't know uh that's the only thing i can maybe explain i mean maybe hepatitis but i feel like that would have shown its effects and, and taken a, a toll and it would have it would have been a more gradual thing i feel like am i wrong in that did she end her own life i mean it i i don't want to assume that either but it it didn't it didn't look like they showed very much of what was going on with the mom but yeah meanwhile uh, Beth is playing, uh, Russian robot and he is, he's very like, even like when the, when the kid played, when he moved, he was very deliberate, like, like fierce, like attack. Uh, and this man plays and he, he did the same thing. And like he said, or like she said, his moves were deliberate. Like there's no, there was no question. Like almost as soon as you started playing, you were losing, <laughs> you're going to lose. Like, it's not like he was tricking her or doing some special things that are confusing and like catching her in traps necessarily, I think. It was just like, this is this is the obvious moves that he's going to make to beat you. Like, he's a robot playing another robot, but he got to go first, so he wins. Um, Like, he's so good and she loses uh, like we assumed she would. But then she goes and explains to her mom that she lost and doesn't realize that her mom is dead, which sucks. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, that that's a that's a bummer for her. Um, but it is what it is, and the you know she's got to grow up even more. Like I, 
she she has had to mature a lot so far already this series like we've seen we've seen Beth go from the point where she's the young person playing against the old person and then young person playing against young people slightly older and then she's getting older and then she had to play against the young kid now and we're seeing just her ma maturity kind of grow and grow and she's becoming more of a rounded adult um she cares about more things than just chess um she's cared about some sexual stuff with boys it seems like she cares about drinking um she cares about swimming she's friends with people um like she, there's more than just chess come going around but then she sees the grandmaster and she's instantly back into chess mode um but now that her mom has died i think she's she's gonna have to grow up even more um you know she calls the ex-husband and he's just like yo uh go to the bank talk to this man the house is yours as long as you can make the mortgage payments you're fine and so i i assume they can do that fairly easily because they've already been making the mortgage payments up until now and like the mom wasn't working so i don't think she should have any issue with that um but then she's got a barrier like she's essentially an only child having to bury her only parent like that's got to be such a daunting task i mean she's she's very mature now but like still that's a hefty thing to do um and then she it seems like she's coping with um with more drinking margaritas and then she got a bunch of pills uh and you know the guy gave her pills and she said more like give me more pills um so it's not looking good <laughs> for her going forward yeah i hope she doesn't take too deep of a dive into the pills and alcohol but i think she will because episode one she was she was drinking and had pills before her big match so uh, yeah this really is the show is just the maturity of beth Harmon, <laughs> like from small little child like she's had to grow up it's so much like her she's had to have a, a parent die twice now really um i think this one almost hits harder on the surface you know the, the first one wrecked her like on the inside and changed her as a person i think and now this one is really just going to shatter her kind of completely uh i think i think we'll probably see a uh, a much more unhinged beth Harmon going forward probably still excellent at chess but um maybe spiraling um either way this show is still fantastic like this this is such a good good show this isn't necessarily a show where you're like crazy surprised or like emotional about things you just watch it and you're like this is so good <laughs> like like i i don't know how to explain it. it's like when you watched um when i watched like chernobyl uh, I mean, well, Chernobyl had some some deeply impactful emotional moments, but the whole time you're watching, you're just like, this is so good. Whoever made this show is so good. <laughs> the actors are so good. They're at the top of their game. The director is getting the best out of them. And this show, you watch it, and you're just like, oh my gosh. They are so good. Everyone involved is so good at what they're doing. It's insane. And I'm... I'm I love it. It's fantastic. This is a fantastic show. This is one of the best shows of the year, easily. And I'm only four episodes in. Uh, I have to imagine it'll just get even better going forward. So I'm stoked to watch more. Uh, let me know in the comments, what did you think about this episode? Were you as surprised as I was about Beth's mom dying? I didn't expect that to happen so suddenly. Like, she was pretty vibrant throughout the whole episode. And then, you know, just looked in the mirror all sad like and then she's dead i didn't understand unless she unless she did it herself it's very confusing for me at least um maybe illuminate me don't uh, don't spoil things again don't be like that person i mentioned earlier and spoil things in the comments um because that sucks but yeah otherwise um yeah let let me know what did you think about any of this were you as 
enthralled with the little Russian boy as I was. He's fantastic. Is he your favorite character? I love him. I want him to show up in every episode from now on. Um, I'm surprised we didn't see Jojen Reed in this episode. You know, he seems to be a fairly proficient chess player. Thought he would show up at one of these big tournaments. I mean, it, she's in Mexico, right? Playing big name people. I thought Jojen Reed would show up. Uh, Benny, whatever his name is. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call him Jojen Reed. Um, Frick, F Ferb, isn't he? Isn't he Ferb, Phineas, or... I think he's Ferb. From Yeah, he is Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. If you guys didn't know that, <laughs> mind blown. He's Jojen Reed. He's in uh, he's in Maze Runner. He is... Uh, he was in Star Wars, The Force Awakens, for like five seconds. Uh, and he's also Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Um, he's great, though. I'm surprised we didn't see him in this episode again. Um, what else? Uh... Do you not like the ex-husband as much as I did? He sucks. I don't know. Like, why? Why did he just leave? Did he just hate Beth? I mean, he seems to be somewhat keeping up with the situation, right? Because he's aware that she's super good at chess, like child prodigy stuff. Oh, well. I mean, he he wanted nothing to do with that situation. <laughs> he's like, don't, don't involve me with this. I'm living a life in Denver. Get I just, Don't talk to me. Oh, that's why the mom mentioned Denver. Oh, frick, I'm so dumb. I didn't even catch that. I guess earlier they didn't they didn't specify what city the ex-husband was in. Um, but yeah, when the when her new boyfriend leaves to uh Oxwa or whatever city in Mexico that he's leaving to, uh she said, uh, I imagine it resembles Denver. And then, you know, she rubs her back. That makes total sense because the ex-husband is in Denver. She like she's like, oh, both both of these men that I love left me for Denver. Just Denver in the Mexican version of Denver. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Now I didn't catch that in the moment. Now I now I understand that. Um, that's that's subtle. That's a little subtle thing. I didn't I didn't I want. Did you guys catch that? That's uh that's that's actually really depressing. <laughs> Maybe she did uh, take her own life then. Cause she, um, after her husband left, she, she was hella depressed and she really only pulled out of it because of, because of Beth and her chest stuff from what I could tell. She, you know, she, she was able to, to pull out of it because, uh, um, because Beth, you know, she needed to be a mother for Beth. And I think throughout this episode, she realized that Beth doesn't need to rely on her. And maybe that's why she didn't have a reason to, to keep going forward and then possibly took her own life. I think that's the vibe I'm getting, is that she she ended her own life with probably pills and drinking. Um, but they're saying it's hepatitis. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I It's okay to be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, please don't get mad at me. For some reason, a lot of people are disliking my videos on The Queen's Gambit. I hope it's not something that I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe people just don't like this show. I don't know. But the first, the first, I think like all three episodes I've done have like eight dislikes, which is like some of my most ever, which is, is kind of surprising. But you know, maybe, maybe it's my fault. I apologize. Uh, but I think, you know, maybe if I'm just making assumptions that are blatantly wrong or disrespectful, I mean, tell me if I'm being insensitive to certain issues. But, um, yeah, I think the vibe I, I was getting was that she ended her own life. But I could be super wrong. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on, on everything, on all this stuff? Let me know. Um, if you liked my reaction, please leave a like. If if you didn't like it, leave a dislike if you want. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more from uh, this show, from The Haunting of Blind Manor, from The Mandalorian. Uh, the Expanse comes back in a few weeks. That'll be a big day. Um, but otherwise... Oh, uh, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this uh, uh, episode, head down to my Patreon, linked below. Um, 
you just sync up your own copy and, and watch it along with me. But uh, other than that, I think, uh, I think that's all I got. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.